Now that you're aware that your interactions are essential to finding the root of the problem while you remain calm, positive, and ultimately reaching a resolution to the problem your customer is facing. Your customer, by the way, is often a coworker or peer within your own company. You will access your virtual idea board through our learning management system. I gave each one of you an individualized one, but they're all the same idea board. What you're going to do is place items underneath each one of the headings. For example, PC Windows operating system, the Mac environment or operating system, the printer hardware, or the network. All of these are different ways or different steps you can take to solving a printing problem. This is just a quick example of where how the sticky notes were placed. If you want to delete an item, you can double click on that item and hit the garbage can and it will delete that item. If you want to bring one item over another, you just click on it once. To delete it, you click on it twice. You can also add notes to that item if you want to. For example, when you're doing your research. If I want to move about the idea flip, I can take and hold down the trackpad or the left mouse button and just move it around. If I want to zoom in, I would do command shift plus to get the plus sign and it zooms in for you otherwise you can zoom in and out on a mouse trackpad by taking your index finger and thumb and pulling apart to zoom in and pinching in to zoom out remember you can also use your view pull down menu to both zoom in and zoom out or your command shift plus and minus signs. In order to submit your idea board individually, if you want to take a screenshot, you can do command shift four and then marquee what you want in that screenshot. This, this will default to your desktop. Otherwise, you can go up to file, export as PDF, and that too will save to your desktop. And with some of you, you would go into file, print, and save it as a PDF and choose that as your printer. So three different ways you can submit it as a file to me on our learning management system. These are directions for the think, pair, share. So for the first step, think. This is you working alone, placing each item, whether it's a post-it note, or whether it's a photo or image. You're going to take those error messages, those different items, and put them to the best of your knowledge if it belongs to a Windows operating system, a Mac operating system, and so on. So for example, system preferences happens to be one of the operating systems. So which one of them would you go to system preferences to look at the printer and or fax machine. Once you have decided where that goes, you're gonna look at some of these closer. And in order to look at them closer, again, you can zoom in on any one of these items. I can use my trackpad or my scrolling mouse or command shift plus command shift negative to zoom in and out. Some of these items such as backup profile outside of the user directory, you have to decide which category that goes under. And once you've decided that, you will place it in the appropriate column. And when all of these are placed in their columns, you will then submit it as a screenshot or a PDF file back to me. The reason you are not sending me back your virtual board is because you're going to be paired in the next step with a partner and you'll use one of your virtual boards. Otherwise, you can create a new virtual board. In the second part of this, the pairing, once you have everything on the specific areas you want them to be on, the pairing, I would take everything off 
compare your screenshots, your PDF files, and then decide what areas you agree on, what areas you disagree on, and the areas lacking. I would take the areas you agree on and put them in the column that you both agree that it should be in. And then for the other ones that you do not agree on or that you're unsure about, we'll have to use the online resources that I put forth in the library lesson, which includes all of WTC's itemized IT resources through your virtual library, as well as PC World Online. I also have included various blogs and websites such as Stack Exchange and GitHub, G-I-T-H-U-B. And then there are different social media feeds and online communities I've also given you in the resources both the, there's a print version if you prefer printed directions as well as a video version on accessing the western technical college online resources put forth by your library center or the resources that i have for you as well most certainly may use past resources from other classes, as well as finding your own resources. During the pair portion, you have to come up with new ideas. Once you have all of these in the columns you want them, and again, I'm arbitrarily doing this because I know that these aren't all in the correct column, you will come over here. And if you notice, you have to add three more elements to each one of these as far as what you would also do if it's a network area or what you should look at if it's a network area. You can use any one of these. You just click it and drag it over. When you click it and drag it over, it appears right here. You have to hold down your shift key. It turns into a hand and drag to make it what size you want it and what angle you want it. You let it go. You double click on it and you start typing what you want to say. You click OK. You place it where you want it. You can resize it with that shift key again. And if you don't like it, you just delete it. But remember, each one of your new elements, if I do a single click, it appears in the center of the page. I hold down the shift key and I change the size of it. If I made an error, I, I command Z it and it will go back to the last save. Every new element has to be tagged as a new idea so that your peer reviewers, the students in the class, can see that this is a new idea from you. And if you look down here, it's under badge and you will click and drag that badge on top of it. And right now you can see I can make it larger and smaller, the ID badge for the new ideas. Your last step for each new element, you have to have a Google Share doc and show the research you used and cite the source that you used as far as where you found that that is something you should look at on a network or something you should look at on a Macintosh operating system or the Windows operating system. The last step is you have to put everything in order that you would check. And then you have to reason that out in your Google shared research paper as to why this is number one, this is number two, this is number three for a network. When you do that, you have to have research where you found that or what class you learned that in. Finally, you will make a PDF file or a screenshot of this, submit it in our discussion board, and allow other students online to critique it. With the critiquing, they have to give reasons with their research why they agree or disagree with what you had posted and the order of the materials. They will be focusing on your new items especially, and Partner number two will respond to all of the critiques and partner number one will post it and give the reasoning for the three additional elements in all three columns. At the end of this, I will be posting my idea board, my virtual one, and you again, you will flag if you agree, single mouse click. It appears in the center. I drag and make it larger and then you can put that on what you agree with or what you disagree with. You can use either the check mark for agreement, the green check mark or the green thumbs up, or you can use the red X or the red thumbs down for clarity. 
then you will respond to me with that idea board and give your rationale and send that off to me. Our final step will be an assessment where you will have an actual scenario and you will respond to me in writing using some of the research you found or the research of other students that are shared out and respond to how you would solve that printing problem.